Welcome back to the channel guys, Bongai here. Today we're going to be looking at some more Planet Crafter. Some of you will know that I've played this previously on stream, but I haven't really got into it as much as I'd like, and I know there's been a lot of updates recently as well in regards to the game. Hopefully we're going to turn this into a bit of a series, and then you can probably tell from some of the information, or it may even be in the uh, title at this point, that we are going to do this in a cinematic mode, so it'll be full length in 4K. Uh, but we're going to jump straight to the game and see how we get on. Right, here we are in our starting zone. For those that haven't seen this, guys, you can tell from the top left-hand screen we've got certain things we've got to get. We've got to get our new backpack as well as equip it, as well as an oxygen tank and equip that, and, of course, get our microchip constructor that'll help us build new products in the future for base building and so on. And as you can see, we've actually got a bit of a nice area, actually. Quite a lot of flat area for when it comes to building. Let's just go straight in and see what we've got in the container. I can remember how you get in there. So we've got oxygen, four oxygen there. We've got a couple of water, we've got some food, as well as a seed. We're going to take one of each of these just so we've got them should we need them. And we'll check on our new messages that we may have. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world. Generate O2, heat, and pressure to do so. First reach 175,000 TI to create a blue atmosphere. So basically, we've got to turn that orange thing into blue. And the only way we're going to do that is by getting some sort of plant formation in so we can get some oxygen and so on. So let's have a quick look in here. We've got our crafting bench. Obviously, we've got our water and yeah, oxygen. One thing we haven't got in here at the moment is actually food. So hopefully, we're going to get that as we go along. We've also got to make the micro, micro, a microchip constructor, as you can see. So we need a couple of silicon and a couple of magnesium. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. Um, we've also got the deconstructor, which is just, just the opposite of that, as well as a torch. Our main thing is to get the backpack as well as the oxygen tank. So we're going to go for cobalt, iron and magnesium. If we can get three iron, we can get these two together. The two cobalt, iron and magnesium. Let's go out and see what we can do. That literally is on its own little lip. Handy. So we need that one there. And I think if we get that, if that's iron, right, we've got all the iron we need. And it was magnesium. Cool. So we'll get the, uh, the backpack as well as the uh, oxygen tank built. At least that'll help us then moving further when we run around the map. The good thing is, guys, for those that haven't played this, as soon as you come back into the actual pod, your oxygen levels will increase. Let's go straight to there. Get that built. And same goes for that. Right, inventory. Backpack on. Oxygen tank on. Right, so the next thing we need to get is our silic two silicon, two magnesium. Then we can start looking at getting something built straight away. Then we can start looking around, see what we need. Remind me what I need. Two silicon. Oh, one silicon. Is it one silicon? Two silicon, two magnesium. The magnesium is the easy one to find because you can kind of see it stood up nice and proud. And if I say iron, I'm going to grab it anywhere. Because we are going to need quite a bit of it. And as you can see as well, guys, I'm managing to go a little bit further now. Still keeping an eye on my uh, oxygen, of course. But we'll head back, because we've got what we need for the uh, building mechanism. Got a nice big flat area here. Just wondering... We might be able to build up as well so we can get on that lift. Now, in the past when I played this, the one thing I've messed up on is storage. So I'm going to try and get like a, maybe a two build, two height base built. Start off with. Let's get that on there as well. So we've got a couple of little bits around us that we need. So do we build on that flat area? Or do we build over here? All right. That's a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit bumpy, as happens. I think we will build over in this light area. We 
we've got a container up there. I don't know if you can see it, just in the in the distance. So we'll check that out at some point. Right, build menu. It's been a while since I've done it, so I'm not totally sure how to go about doing this, is it? So it's Q. So we're going to get the pod straight in there. Now, apparently you can rotate these, and every time I've tried it, it's never worked. It is turning, only ever so slightly. Let's see if we can get another one in there straight away. So we need some more iron. And... Uh, we are running down on oxygen, so we better get in quickly. Just as a reminder, I did have some on me, didn't I? I did. So at least I've got one on me should I need it. So we need some more iron. Let's run around quickly and see what we can do. this way that way we if we see on the other way we'll grab it titanium I've just seen some low power We'll have to get the wind turbines up as well shortly so we can try and generate a little bit more power. Oxygen's back up. It does work. Obviously over time guys, once we've actually turned this from a red planet into a, uh, a blue planet, then we won't need the oxygen as much because it'll be actually produced. Aha. Right. I'm in two minds. Do we go another two and make it into a big three piece? Need some more iron. Grab that one. I think we're going to run into the uh, base now and get some more power ups. Right, we're going to have to get some ice because I'm going to have to start. Oh, it's actually cobalt for the oxygen, which I wasn't expecting. Let's grab a bit of cobalt. I think I'm going to try and get a door in if we can. We'll get it in that front, in that middle piece here. And if we do another door here as well, so it's straight through. And then we'll do another two side by side. Right, can we get a wind turbine in place to try and generate a little bit of power? We can, but I think what I'm going to try and do is get it on the roof. More rain. It would be nice if you could put that on some sort of toolbar. I don't know if you just noticed that, guys. But there's some sort of structure up there from what I can see. I can't see it now, but I'm almost certain I can see something listening as we're running towards that there. some mice while we're at it because we are going to need to get more lubricants
of a waste. Both of the worry. Right guys, I'm gonna run around, try and get this platform built. And we'll be back with you very shortly. Right guys, there we are. We've got a three by three, so we've got plenty of storage places. Now we've got to look at trying to get some sort of uh, power on the place. Um, I think on this occasion, I'm not totally sure how we're going to go about doing this, to be honest with you. But we've got some stairs we can put in, and we have. Right, let's put these against the side here. Now, this is going to be an additional section, so I'm not necessarily looking at... Can we put that in there? Is it going to let me? We did get it. Oh, okay. So let me put it there. What can I put one on top? You would think I would be able to. Too sure why that will not sit on the top there. It does go green. There. It's just almost like it's going to sit on a cross beam rather than the centre. So that is going to generate some power. Uh, but I'm actually going to leave this stairs here because eventually what we'll do is pull the platform across here and make like a, another another deck. So at least we can get it from the outside or the inside. Right, let's see what we've got. We can be building on the inside as well, guys. So we've got uh, we've got floodlights outside. Should be easy. Obviously, we've got the foundation grids that we've just seen. Why I didn't put these below the actual uh, main modules, I do not know. But there we go. So have we got any, um, so just looking at the top there, we need to make a drill, a T1 t uh, drill, as well as get the terraformation screens in and the blueprint screens, and then of course get a heater in and a veggie tube. So I'm guessing that's where we're going to be getting our um, food consumption from moving forward. So let's just go and have a quick look at the drill. We need some iron, so we'll go out and get that. Right then, before we do that guys, you can probably tell it's getting a little bit dark at the moment and we haven't got a torch, so I think it'd be a good idea. Let's see if we can mill them. We need some silicon. Which is normally laying around everywhere. I was about to say it'd be the one time I need it and I can't find it. So let's just go. Torch. to activate it torch microchip required we've got a torch oh, we haven't put it on it does help there we go doesn't shed the, the most light as you can see I've just put that back in there haven't I We like for oxygen we've got one left oh, God, we need more than that let me just grab some resources guys i'm gonna go around and grab a couple bit more of the uh the shiny blue stuff so we've got another two oxygen on me so that should keep us going um we were re requiring iron so we can get the drills up and running i'm gonna head over here because i did say yeah we did see, i did see what looked like a chest so we'll see if we can grab that. Bit of a sandstorm coming in. Hopefully we get some goodies in this. I'm gonna grab that seed as well. We'll come back for this stuff. It's not important right now. But it's not gonna disappear. While wow, that's bright. 
Now look at the views, guys. When I'm editing this, I can turn the audio down. At this moment in time, this is absolutely deafening me. <laughs> he says, realising he's got an actual volume controller on his headphones. So we need a drill. I'm just going to place the drills down here for the time being because they're close nearby. If we can get a second one in as well, that'll help us. I'm just going to keep an eye on um, power. Now, I'm not too sure if um, the location makes a difference. I'm sure we'll find out in time. Uh, reach blueprints of 175,000 Ti. What are we currently on at the moment? We're currently on eight, believe it or not. Only eight. Um, I'm thinking, if that is the case, if we can get some more power in, we can get a couple more of these foundation. So we need some more iron. So what you will find, guys, when you do a couple of play this game, if you ever get around to doing it, it is available on Steam. Um, There's a lot of running around to do. Oh, I thought I had enough on me for three. I guess not. Do you know what? We don't need to be carrying... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Not to worry. Uh, we don't need that just yet either. And we don't need all that water in us. Just to give us a bit of storage. Ah, new blueprint of, of oxygen. Ah, okay. Can we get that in here? No. Right, okay then. If that is the case... Crafting station two, we need iron and silicon, which would sound like the ideal thing to get, to be quite honest with you. We need ice and magnesium, so we can get the veggie tube up running as well. So we need one ice, one iron, two iron, three iron, one ice and one magnesium. Now, as it happens, that container actually had quite a lot of what we need up there. So we'll go and run and grab and see if we can grab that now. And at least it might make that actual cabinet or this chest despawn. Um, I want to drop in the and take that magnesium. It seems to be weird that depending on how you catch it depends on what you see. So if we get the new crafting bench in, which is like crafting bench two, I think it was, that should hopefully allow us to then get the next upgrade for the oxygen tank. Right, we can turn that torch off for starters. So, let's just have a quick look. We can make that now. Crafting station. I think we'll put that in that corner. And that's just literally zapped all our power, which is not good. And we have, in fact, got the second tank that we need. Oh, what's this? Exoskeleton increase equipment, increases equipment capacity. And we can make that straight away. Now we need that, we can use our existing tank, but we also need titanium and two uh, magnesium. The magnesium bit's the easy bit. Let me just go up and see if we can get the other power unit up and running. It seemed to light the edge. Cool, that's power. We nearly. That's gonna at least get the power up back up and running. Let's go and get some uh, magnesium so we can at least get the new bat pack sorted. And again, once we start getting things created, guys, and hopefully we won't need to go back to the little, the little unit that we started off on. So we need, oh, we need silicon still. We need, still need one cobalt. Oh, okay. Luckily, like I say, silicon seems to be everywhere. And then when you want it, you can't find it. Now, 
Nice. I like the scenery. We should have had a window there. So we can look up. So we need to go into our inventory and take that off. So we can reuse it. So that. Right. Keep pressing the wrong button. So we've now got our increased thing. Right, so can we put this on anywhere? Is that part of that backpack? It looks like the back part of that backpack. I could be wrong. Aha! So we put that in, it gives us our slot. Then we can put the backpack back on. Well, there you go. Didn't know that. So we've got everything we need. We haven't got the backpack too just yet. But we do need to make our uh, terraformer screens. Uh, which we've now got here. So let's have a quick look. Terraformer screen, blueprints, and energy levels. So one of these, I know for a fact, is huge. So cobalt silicon at nine. Right, guys. I'm going to have a quick run around, grab the resources. I'll be back very shortly. And then uh, hopefully, you will get to see the next... Oh, wrong one. you will get to see the big screens up on, on the wall, hopefully. Right then, guys, so I've got some of the equipment that we needed. We've got the terraforming screen, so we'll, if I put that there, do I put that there? Well, I think we'll put that there. It shows our oxygen levels and our heat levels. Very nice. It's not exactly straight, but then neither are my eyes. So there we go. Um, and as you can see, we've got our TI 193. It, I believe it's going up slowly, which is good. But we still have a long way away from 175,000. Uh, that could take a while. So we need to need two pieces of silicon, and then we can get the other two up and running. Now, I did tell you that silicon's everywhere, and you can guarantee now I want it, I won't be able to find it. And to be, honest with you, to be quite honest with you, I thought I'd already got it. If you are new to the channel, guys, then by all means... Uh, follow the channel, hit like. If you're enjoying the, if, if you enjoyed this so far, guys, please uh, let me know what you think of the uh, this in a cinematic mode. Now I've got a feeling they may need to, and they do. They need to go on a bench. Uh, yeah, let, let me know in the comments what you think of the cinematic mode. I think it just gives it that little bit more in relation to the actual uh, the viewing, and it's in 4K now, guys. So if you if you are on a TV or you've got a decent monitor. At least you'll be able to watch it in full 4K. Now just let me have a quick look as to which one is this I'm looking at place in here. Blue screen and energy. So we'll just have a blue screen there. And we seem to be in some sort of meteor storm. Wow! Um Yeah, I need some iron. The good thing is, when meteors hit, they leave a debris and sometimes a good precious metals. Now, I don't know if my actual building's on, on um, <laughs> being damaged there because of the smoke coming through, or is that just purely from the oxygen from the outside? Right, there's nothing that way. Right, we've got some iron there. I'm going to grab it quickly. Got to be careful here. Big balls of uh, iron. I would um, I would build they must have been hit there looking at that. We're at 244 TI, that's gonna pretty quick. Ha! <laughs> surprise, surprise, we're out of power. Right, we need to get some more um structures put in place. Iron. Right, okay, let's see if we've got enough to get another one in here. Um, what I may do is, if I can get on top of that and try and build it on the opposite side. So we're going to need to get foundations in there. It will not let me put it in there, will it? I'm not surprised. Right, let's see what debris we've got. There's a right mess being left behind, that's for sure. 
Ooh. But we might get other minerals we've not seen before. Like that shiny thing over there. What is that? Aluminium. Nice. Plenty of iron left, which is good. Oh, inventory's full. See, this is why we could do with getting the bigger bag. Hopefully, not wishful thinking. I want to try and get like a huge platform, like a little wind farm going, so we've got plenty of energy at all times. More aluminium by the looks of that. I'll be honest with you guys, I've never really gone this far into the game. So it's the first time I've actually seen aluminium in the game. I knew it was available. It just goes short. When you see a meteor storm, don't presume it's going to be a bad thing. So if you do actually play this, guys, it's F, by the way, for your, for your torch. And I want to try and get this, if I can, in between these two. Like so. Ah, we can get windows now, can we? Andy. Can we get another one? We can. It probably won't work very well if we get it on there, but... Like you say, we can always change things around. Can't imagine that being um, great at all when it comes to generating energy. This could be fighting against itself. We are going up. Right, what do we need to get in now? We need to get our veggie tube and our heating tube. Uh, the heating tube is going to take a lot of power, so we we'll have to keep that in mind when we come to building it. Let's get the veggie tube in. We need some ice and some iron. Uh, this back door seems to be getting used a lot. And just curious while we're at it, we need some iridium. Some iridium, uh, which we've not got used yet. So hopefully we're going to find either some of that or a way of getting it. Or converting maybe a couple of items into it. Which I can't imagine is going to be something straightforward. What's that? Oh, it's just cobalt. It looked different because it was laid down. I need one piece of iron. I'm going to put the greenery over in this corner. Now, this doesn't seem to matter which way we put this. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put it over here. Right, so have we got our plant? No, we haven't. Let's go and grab our plant from the other... Our little rocket. Hopefully, that'll start getting us... Ah, get in! We've now got the, black, the blueprint for the bag. Right, we'll get that sorted in a moment. Uh, wrong place. And we're going to grab that as well, because we're going to need some food. Just while I'm at it, can I create another oxygen? No, I can't. Not really an issue right now. Um... Is it in? It is in, as you can see. It's in there now. It's now generating a little bit of oxygen. It's taking energy away. Obviously, it's going to need power. But the good thing is, it's generating energy. Oh, oxygen, sorry. And you can see, it's growing pretty quick. We may need to get a couple of them in. Because uh, I think it'll benefit us. Obviously, we're just going to keep an eye on our power consumption. Uh, this is where our power consumption is going to get eaten a lot. 
Um, have I got a set of uh, my oven? So we need some titanium, some iron. What I'm planning on doing, guys, is getting an upstairs done. Uh, possibly not straight away, actually, when I think about it. We just need to get a, a heater. Um, right, I'm going to have a run around, guys. I won't do anything that you're going to miss. I'm just going to run around and get a couple of um, a couple of bits of equipment that we're going to need. Before I do, we're just going to go ahead... Well, first of all, I'm going to go and grab some iron so we can make some containers. And then, at least that way we can get rid of a lot of the stuff we've got around. Just assume we can't actually collect the storage that is available lying around that we've been emptying. Because that would make things so much easier. Iron. And inventory for typical. And this is exactly why I need to get the storage done and we'll get the new bag built and then I'll have a quick run around and grab some and my uh, moss stock for the next stage. I'm actually going to put them in this area over here, the way. What I'll do, once we get some of this stuff in, aluminium, we've got no use for it at all at the moment. Uh, I need to get a load more cobalt, and we need to get some water. Right. I should be back in a moment. First of all, I'm going to go and empty this uh, container up here. Right. Before we go any further then, guys, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, just drop that. That's just completely dropped everything. I think I've left my bag on the floor. Backpack do. We need titanium. Of course we do. It's the one thing I dropped. That makes things a lot easier. Anything else we've lost? Right, I did think we've got some more things on here there for a moment, and I could be wrong. No, it's just the other bag was on there. Right, let's go ahead and put these down. So, at the moment, we need to get this up. It's the one thing that we've got outstanding that we can't make just yet. Um, and we don't seem to be getting any options to make it as of yet either. Now this could be down to purely down to power. Um, short interface. Oh, here we go. So we've got some additional items on here. We've got the window that we just unlocked, which we might have to put in. And then on this one, not totally sure what is showing on this one. Consumption, blueprints. This just shows you our power consumption. Which is 195, 1.95 kilowatts. It's absolutely crap. The good thing is, that is going up. The only downside is, guys, you can see, we've got no heat because we haven't got the heater. I want a window, <laughs> but I can't have one. Oh, I can have one. It's there. And we haven't got any titanium, I don't think. Not a cobalt, sorry. Is it calmed down? No, it's still got some coming over. That's the best place to put it. I can see what's going on now. Oh, we've got a lot of aluminium running, rolling down the hill there. And I can see that big... If I stand there and look at the corner of my eye, just, just in case you haven't seen it, there's that big structure. If I turn slightly to the left, it kind of disappears in the lighting. I'm going to run over it because 
if this does actually bring an iridium, that'd be nice, because I don't know how I'm going to get it otherwise, unless we just get it from unlocking other items. Unless it is a matter of we've got to go and go up to the machine, up, the, up to that unit, and hopefully try and get something from it. That's not what I thought it was. What I'm looking for at the moment, guys, is I'm scouring. I'm just looking to see if there's any more of those chests, just in case there's something in one of the chests that maybe what we need. Uh, just to make you aware as well, guys, I will be live on Tuesday the 4th over here over on YouTube. So hopefully you just can uh, make it. It'll be from 7pm. No, I haven't decided what we're going to do yet. We might do... We've got a couple of simulators we could be looking at. But if you've got any suggestions or there's something you'd like me to play... By all means, again, leave it in the comments. If you've got nothing you want to say in the comments, guys, just leave me a little emoji. It just shows YouTube that there's been a bit of interaction on the video, and it does actually help me out. And that, that the one thing I want to try and do is get this plat this channel um, going in the right direction. Because I'm um, oh, don't tell me I've got any oxygen. Yeah, I just want to try and build this channel up. Right, we've actually got a, a, a full bag. There's nothing standing out that I can think of. The good thing is, we've started to get a little bit further in the game now. We've got ourselves a, a bit of a decent base. We've got ourselves a bit of a power power section going on. The, the sky's looking more yellow now than it was red. But I think that's just me being uh, optimistic. <laughs> now, if you've got plants... Uh, did we not get any cobalt while we were out? No, we didn't. I'm going to go grab some more cobalt because I think putting a window near the plant as well would be nice. And that's going to have no impact in the game, guys. It's just... It's because I want to, if anything. So we should have 30 if you go by what that's saying. So 191, it keeps climbing, so that's good. Again, the heating is the issue that we're, we're going to have moving forward. And we've not unlocked it. As you can see, there's quite a lot you can unlock. And here we've got solar panels over here, uh, which is generated once we've unlocked one KTI, which we are getting close to doing. So when we get solar panels on, that's going to generate more power, especially when we've got the other roof built on or the other section of the uh, the base. At least at that point, then we can put solar panels on so we've got other energy coming in. We've got another bag to unlock as well. We've got another, a, a further bag. Incubator for insects and larvae. So again, generating. I'm wondering if this is going to show me if we can get the heater. Is that the, that's a food grower? I don't see anything on here regards to heating. Blueprints received for the solar panels. Said it, and it come through pretty quick. So that's handy. Have we unlocked anything else? Not as yet. We've got the drill too, that'd be nice. That's going to that's gonna get unlocked very shortly. Right, guys, on that note, I think we'll leave it there for this. This is just episode one. This is just me getting back into the, the swing of things and getting to learn the mechanics. Seeing things I haven't seen before already, such as aluminium. Never seen it in the game before because um, I've never gone this far into the game. And uh, we've got a bit of a base built up. Let me know in the comments what you think of the uh, aspect ratio of the game, guys, and what you think of the actual game itself. And it, um, Obviously, I will be making this into a series. But on that note, guys, if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit the like button, share if you wish on your social medias. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Ciao for now.